So my name is Scott Elrod. I'm Vice President of the Hardware Systems Lab at PARC, which is a Xerox company. And I want to tell you about an innovation we've come up with uh, that uses printing. So you probably know that Xerox is a place that does a lot of printing. We've actually now applied the printing techniques to energy devices. So um, we've come up with a really interesting innovation that builds on our printing capabilities. And its um, aim is to make batteries, lithium-ion batteries, more efficient. Um, and if you look right here, I, this gives you a demonstration of how it works. So this is a blow-up of a battery, what's inside a battery. There are basically two electrodes. There's a, there's a cathode, which is represented here. There's a separator, which keeps it separate from the anode. And then there's the anode. And the energy is actually stored in the two electrodes, the cathode and the anode. And what, what we're doing is we're actually, we, we print the cathode in a way that actually creates a physical structure. So instead of having just one flat material for the cathode, we actually have strips of different material that are all laid down at the same time, very fast. What this gives you is the ability to have one region where you store the lithium ions very densely, and another region where you can actually get the lithium ions out of the cell. So you can think of this as the storage region, and this as like a super highway for the lithium ions to go in and out. What that allows you to then do is be, make the, the electrode thicker. You can make it thicker now because you can provide this material that allows the, as a highway, allows the lithium ions to get inside. The net benefit of that is that you can go to higher energy density because the cathode thickness is really what dictates the energy density of the device. So with this technique, this one technique that you can implement in an existing battery manufacturing plant, you can get maybe 20% higher energy density while maintaining the same power. The reason that's important is for electric vehicles. You want to have high power for a start and stop, but you also want to maximize the energy density, so the, the, the amount of energy per unit volume, the amount of energy per unit weight. And so this co-extrusion printing technique is something that we can phase in to existing battery manufacturing plants using the same materials that they use today, but with that benefit. The other thing to point out is that that benefit of 20%, which we expect from this, is about equal to three years' worth of the sort of conventional incremental improvements that the battery industry does make each year.